"'Twas the night before Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, "'a nark started scheming with a click of his mouse. "'The stockings all hung with a hole in the heel. "'Emptied of presents, how low they would feel. "'The children were nestled all safe in a bed, "'but it was not their happiness that was in the nark's head. And Mom, sobbing quietly as the nark sought his fuel, his words had been caustic and his actions so cruel, when out on the net the nark did surf wide, seeking the playmates to make him powerful inside. Away to the dating site he flies in a flash, creating false profiles using someone else's cash. The moon's light from the window did highlight his mask, as he lied and he boasted, obsessed by his task. When what to his wandering eyes should suddenly appear, but a fresh victim who was deliciously near, with a click of the mouse and the charm running high, he opened his trap and sent lie after lie. More rapid than eagles did his tendrils uncoil, Snaking about her, dripping with oil. So dashing and charming, so swift began the dance. She was dazzled, behold and enchanted. She stood, not a chance. A red flag was flying, from a flagpole tall. Yet she was mesmerized, taken in by it all. Yes, it was late, but how about a beer? He would love to meet her. He knew she was near. So off to the bar his victim did go, Intrigued and excited as she strode through the snow, And then in a twinkling she had a mistletoe kiss. What a marvellous present! It was too good to miss. And there in her head, which was spinning around, she ignored the alarm bells which were beginning to sound. He gave her his fur as he walked her back home, and there on the porch his hands did they roam. I know it seems sudden, and I know it is late, but I have to tell you that you're my soul mate. She smiled and she gasped, her heart all alight, as the harpoon hit its target and her chest did feel tight. She took him inside, and he took her all night, a perfect coupling. It all felt so right. You are amazing, it barely seems true, but I think that I have fallen for you. She gazed in his eyes, for he was perfect, and basked in the love that he did reflect. I will always protect you, he said as she dozed. Her mouth started smiling as her eyes remained closed. Hours later she woke, the room bore a chill. The window flung open, boot marks on the sill. She stood at the window, her mouth open wide, as she recalled with a thrill and such excitement inside. The mysterious stranger who came from nowhere, who embraced her neck and showed her such care. Her heart, it beat faster. She wanted him so. She would soon see him of that she did know. With heart now on fire and the huck sunk in deep, she retired, still smiling, to catch up on her sleep. Across town the nark was rising, his seeds had been sown, and the day's first message arrived on his phone. He heard the first cries from down below stair about vanished presents, such howls of despair. The narc walked to the mirror and gave it a grin, for his schemes were now working, he was reeling them in. Already the day had started so well, and the ruined Christmas fair would continue the hell. No laughter, no smiles, no pleasure or joy. 
He smirked at the thought of the next broken toy. His planning bore fruit, the new prey now secure. The hopes of his family would soon hit the floor. A day of turmoil, of drama and regret, with a fresh willing victim, how good could it get? He smiled at the mirror, and there stared the ghoul, but ah, not cared not one iota, he was getting his fuel. So if your night before Christmas sounds similar to this tale, you know what to do, and you must now not fail. Gain knowledge, seize power, and become narc free by listening to everything created by H.G.